Hello everyone and welcome back! Let's continue learning about angular component styling. So style isolation is not the only feature that the way that angular handles styling brings us. Let's learn in this lesson a simple extension to HTML that will allow us to write simpler CSS in our component style sheets. Let's remember the component style sheet is specific to only the component. Let's have a look at the host pseudo selector angular styling feature. Right now, let's continue styling here our component. So as we can see for the moment, we have here this border at the level of the input of our component. So the input that uh, sits next to the icon. We would like to remove this border. We would like to remove the outline of the component. And we would like instead to wrap around this complete component. So around the input and the icon, we would like to add a border that is in every way similar to the one that we have here. And also notice this blue selection whenever the input has focus. We would like to reproduce that behavior too in our custom component. So how can we do that? Because we have learned that these styles that we put in here are applied to elements inside the component. And what we want to do here is not to style any element inside the component, but we would like instead to style the host element of the component itself. So let's select it here. We would like to style the whole AUFA input directive. So this custom HTML element that we are essentially creating to extend HTML with our own tags. We would like to style this element. So one solution would be maybe to wrap everything in a div and style the div, but Angular provides us a better way. Let's have a look at it. We have here these special selectors that we can use, these special CSS selectors that will allow us to style the host element of the directive or the component. So let's start exploring those special selectors that Angular has available for us. So the first one is the host pseudo selector. So this selector will allow us to style the host element of the component itself. So the HTML tag that we have defined here, this HTML tag. So let's start using the host selector to define a border around the whole component. So we are going to say that this has a border of one pixel solid light gray. So let's try this out. We are simply going to hit control S and as we can see, now we have a border around the whole input, but we still have this border, the default browser border that the browser adds to any input. We still have it there. So we would like to delete this so that we have only one border. So let's quickly add those styles. We are going to say that any input inside the font awesome component is going to have no border. And let's try this out just to see how this looks on the screen. So as we can see, it's looking better. We still have here this outline and the border, the bottom border is not visible, for example, in Chrome. So in order to fix this, let's add here a little bit of padding in the bottom of the whole element. So just one pixel of padding in the bottom. So now we have here a clearly defined border for our whole input. But take a look, we still have here this outline defined. So we are going to add here outline none as well. So now we have here the initial look and feel of the component. So we currently don't have the focus functionality, but at least we don't have that outline that was making the input not look like a normal input. So we are going to add that functionality later. Right now, let's continue styling our component and let's talk a bit about component styling best practices and how to split up the styles into multiple different types of styles and learn other extended CSS features of Angular. This is coming right up in the next lesson.